Now let's do a problem on integrals here. So we're going to evaluate these integrals. I noticed the first one here is an indefinite integral. So I know that sh I should end up with something plus c, a family of functions. And let's see how we're going to do that. Well, I'm first I'm going to rewrite this as integral of x squared plus 1 over x. I can leave like that because I know what that's going to integrate to. And then minus x to the minus 2, I'm going to rewrite that part of it. Okay, so when I integrate x squared, that's x to the third over 3, plus integrating 1 over x is ln absolute value of x, minus integrating x to the minus 2, remember I add 1 to the exponent, so x to the minus 1 over minus 1, plus c, and so if I clean that a little bit, x cubed over 3, plus ln absolute value of x, plus, I could write x to the minus 1, or 1 over x, plus c. Okay, another indefinite integral, but the problem is I don't see this as the derivative of anything, so I have to play around a little bit. So I have the integral of 2, and then I have a 1 over cosine x, and then a 1 over cotan x dx. But that's the integral of 2, that's secan x, and 1 over cotan is tan, so I get 2 secan x tan x, and I recognize that I, this should integrate to 2, and then secan tan integrates to secan x plus c. Okay, so now I have a definite integral, which means I should end up with a value here. But the first thing I'm going to have to do is really figure out the indefinite integral itself um, so that I can do the evaluation. All right. So I'm going to have to rewrite this a bit. 1 to 8, x minus 1 over x to the 2 thirds dx. Okay, and then I'll have to break this up. x over two th x to the 2 thirds is x to the 1 third. And a minus 1 over x to the 2 thirds is x to the minus 2 thirds. Okay, so that's how I've been able to break it up. Now I can go and integrate. So, so here it is. I'm going to have x add 1, so x to the 4 thirds, over 4 thirds, or in other words, times 3 fourths minus x to the add 1, so I get x to the 1 third um, over 1 third, which would be t times 3 uh, from 1 to 8. Okay, so now I do the evaluation, so I do this whole thing at 8 minus this whole thing at 1. So I have uh, 3 quarters uh, 8 to the 4 thirds minus 3 times 8 to the 1 third, all minus 3 quarters times 1 to the 4 thirds minus 3 times 1 to the 1 third. Okay, so that should be 3 quarters times 8 uh, cube rooted is 2. Uh, to the fourth is 16, minus 3 times 2 is 6, minus 3 fourths minus 3. Okay, so we get, um, so 4, 12 minus 6 would give me a 6, minus 3 quarters minus, uh, plus 3, so 9 minus 3 quarters, which is 36 quarters, minus 3 quarters, 33 over 4. So there we go. This definite integral came out to be this value here, 
But in order to do the indefinite integral, I had to use doing an indefinite integral so I could get this to be evaluated at the, you know, B minus the evaluation at A. Okay, find the derivative of this function. Now, this is an integral function. So what we're asking you to do is to find the derivative of the integral e to the x to 0 sine cubed t dt. Okay, so this doesn't involve knowing how to integrate this thing because I can use the fun second fundamental theorem, but I need it in the proper format. So what I need is the constant on the bottom, so I have to take a negative out to flip it. Okay. Now what I can do is there's my negative from the flipping, and then I know that the derivative of this integral function should give me this function evaluated at e to the x. So sine cubed of e to the x times the derivative of this. So the derivative of e to the x. So that's just going to give me e to the x. So minus e to the x sine cubed of e to the x. Okay, and that does it. That's the derivative of that integral function using the second fundamental theorem of calculus.